Hello and welcome back my beautiful frogs to some more Skull Girls for the PC. Last episode, we beat the game or the story with Parasol, which means we're halfway down with all the characters, or the original characters. This episode we shall take care of the game as, or play through the story as a double. And then, besides my favorite character, of course, there's only fun characters left. Then again, all characters are fun to use, so that doesn't really say much when I think about it. Okay, so uh, Double is the one that's causing it all. But yeah, Double, very weird character. As you can see, she transforms into, well, pretty much every char regular character in the game. So, uh, all of your attacks are basically that of others. So, you know, but technicalities. Well, technically, I should have gone with her last, I suppose, but. Uh, oh well. You, you, you only get small tidbits of all characters, basically. Also, why does she transform me with Philia without any. I don't know. But yeah, Double is a very odd character, to say the very least. Okay, that's a good uh, reaching attack. That I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna spam this because I don't want to lose in the first battle again. Philia. Thank you. So we're sheep showing it basically. Double is a weird character, so to speak. Oh, Cerebella. We're actually fighting against her. That's been quite a while. That okay. might be tough then. Oh, Yeah, it's a good special, that one. Let's see. I don't even know if Double has a special. So far, it doesn't seem like it, I say, in the, when I did one. Okay. Though it's a bit hard to know what to do with her. I like... I haven't really played much with Double. I think I played her with her twice, maybe? Um... I'm not really much for uh, for double in general. You know, I do prefer playing as Valentine, and that's the character I play as the most. Okay, so she can't even run either. It's one of those characters. Not a fan of them at all. But at least I won this battle. You are to attack Anti Skull Girl Lab 8 and destroy as much of their research as possible. However, you must leave Peacock alone. I cannot comply. Peacock is perhaps the most serious threat to our mission here. To let her live would be folly. I command you to leave her alone. I made a promise. Irrelevant. Your promises mean nothing to our masters. We exist to serve them. Hmm. Our okay. is proceeding apace. Yes, somehow she needs your power to further her own agenda. Understood. I will continue. Okay, so Double is basically the servant of uh, the Skullheart. Something I've noticed on uh, Double is that her cross is actually upside down. That's pretty interesting. You know. Okay, so I can walk forward but I can't run with uh, Double because, well, she turns into uh, Parasol. 
and of course the host of the Skull Girl only serves the Skull Girl basically. She gets like one wish and then you serve for the rest. Wow, that's a big elephant. <laughs> the elephant was looking at me like, seriously? Is this really what, is, what my life has come up to be? Me falling from the sky? Hearing nothing? Am I really the big elephant in the room? <laughs> Too funny. So, fight against the parallel then, okay. I guess that would be fine. I do like, you know, clone characters that change, like, uh, I don't... Mok Mokuba, Mokutaba, I don't even know what it's called in Tekken, the, the wooden thing. Then there is uh, the Owl Man in Soul Calibur 3. Uh, the skeleton in Soul Calibur 2. I'm a ball of goo. That's what I am. What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. But enough talk, have at you. Okay, so. I was about to say I haven't done any damage to her, but. You know, then it arrives. Yeah, she couldn't take herself, you know. Taking back what she was attacking. Can you please stop doing this misfortune? Okay, there we go. Though we have already seen that move. It was worth seeing it again. Um, okay. I didn't expect to turn into a teacup, but that's clearly one of uh, Peacock's attacks. Yeah, let's jump towards... Okay, I think I can get her from simply doing this move now. She can attack me from behind, so technically she has me in a pincer attack, but I didn't let her attack, so... No chance for her to attack, you know? Okay, so what am I... I'm fighting against all opponents. Is that it? Yeah, it's showtime, alright. Well, I haven't really fought against... Um, well, I haven't fought against Double. And I haven't fought against... Um, a Valentine yet. So I guess Valentine's gonna be next. Or possibly the Skull Girl herself, I don't know. I don't even know if Double is gonna fight the Skull Girl. We're, we're gonna find about that after all. Okay, so that's um, Misfortune's uh, special move. But it took any damage. Okay, now we're fighting against Valentine. So I guess Double fights against all opponents then. Seems to be the case. And then she's gonna get fight against the Skull Girl too, right? Because the Skull Girl's gonna re AK Mary. She's probably gonna revolt, right? But yeah, speaking about clone characters and such. Or characters that, you know, randomize which fighter they're gonna be. They're really fun to use, but you can argue that they waste a spot, a character spot. But, uh, you know, if there wouldn't be a character there anyway, why not have a clone character or a character that, you know, copies other ones randomly? Okay, so we're gonna fight Mary regardless, and we have this cutscene again. We didn't get this cutscene with Parasol, I noticed. Or at the very least, we've got something different with Parasol. So we're gonna fight against Mary now, okay, to switch the owner of the Skull Heart. And the masters are displeased. Yes. I have nearly cut the Medici cancer from the heart of this city. Once that is complete, I will do their bidding. They are tired of waiting. You exist for a single purpose. As 
I will not let you stop me. Okay, so a double is basically a skull heart says fail safe. But either way, Mary has the same fate of falling and losing in battle and whatnot. Such a shame, but it is the fate that she bears. So yeah, that's what I want to know. Okay, I was about to say she doesn't even attack back, but uh, she's getting to that now. Okay, I'm actually managed to dodge that, nice. So I guess the Skull Heart is making it easier for me because, well, the Skull Heart wants to be, have a new owner. And what best way to do that but to get barely fight with uh, the current holder of the skull heart. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, so I went through that regardless. Great. Okay, I'm just gonna spam this move. That's gonna do it. And there we go. So double also did not fail against the skull heart. Good. Fate, 5 out of 8, okay, yeah. Three more characters to go then. Her spirit was too strong. The skull heart couldn't properly penetrate, so synchronization was incomplete. Yes, I have chosen a new host. The other candidates will be consumed. That's a pretty gruesome ending, not gonna lie. Fits uh, Double's character though, but uh, pretty gruesome nevertheless. Okay, what's this? I think I'm getting the hang of this game. What the heck? This is a joystick, a device that fell in from the 21st century. I find it helps me trace the branching threads of fate on the other side. A joystick? With a name like that, you'd think it'd be a bit more... exciting. Maybe you're doing it wrong. What if I... The hell? Calm down, sister. You'll have your fun in due time. Girls, dinner's ready. Stop playing and come eat before it gets cold. One second, mother. I just need to save my game. Before we go, I'll tell you this. Each branch is a history that might have been. However, there is one timeline where all the threads converge, including our own. And that's the yeah, one I just did. Sounds like fun. I can't wait to get out of here. Or is it perhaps Fukias? I don't know. Very weird ending. I didn't really much understand what will happen there, but uh, either way, if you enjoyed this episode of Skull Girls, consider becoming part of the Frog Squad by subscribing today if you aren't already. And if you want to help me and the channel grow even further, you can do one of the following three. You can A, like this video, B, share your thoughts by leaving a comment down below, or C, share this video with someone you know. With that said, this is Brad Girl saying thank you very much for watching, stay frog everyone, and I hope to see you next time. See you then.